feel better now. I saw horses. Horsey, 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 horsey. Yellow Pine, Yellow Pine Tavern, great little town, just had a good breakfast, talked to some great locals, got some good tidbits on where to go and stuff, fueled up and ready to go. Lady that lives in this little house right here, built in the 1900. She said it's one of the oldest houses in the community. She also said that um, there's more people that live here now than when the mine was active, which I thought was surprising. Is it open going towards the call? Oh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not from here. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. All right, thanks. Yeah, you definitely don't want to ask me. I'm gonna check out this old fire fire truck. I think this thing's from like 1949. She said, "Look at that thing. How cool." Still in real good shape for being left outside. Really cool. I'll be back, Yellow Pond. Boy, it was chilly when I got up here this morning. When I woke up, it was chilly. Not too bad right now. A lot of things for sale here, though. Just surprising. Restaurant Lodge was uh, for sale for $279,000. It was like a bar, lodge, log cabin. Really nice. I don't know if it had a living quarters in it or not. Oh, look at the baby deer. <laughs>
trail that um, this truck won't start. I think it's the alternator. I'm gonna turn around and see what I can help. I'm not quite sure what I can do. But glad to be in service out here. I mean there ain't really a whole lot. Oh, you're from Alaska? Yeah, long story. This truck was my great-great-grandfather's and we used to come here all the time, my grandpa. I grew up here in Idaho. Oh, okay. And my great-grandfather lived here and my grandpa lived here and so... Where, in Yellow Pine? No, in uh, Midville, Idaho. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. You, don't mind, you don't mind if I make you famous on YouTube, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> I need all the help I can get. So I, what year is this thing? It's a 1966. 1966, wow. Yeah. So Hi. I, I had a that's Brianna. I had a So this was the one big trip back to Big Creek and then you were gonna what were we gonna do with it? I'm gonna ship it back to Alaska. Came back to that's where I'm going. Oh you are? After I finish this I'm going to Alaska. No way. Yeah, I'm gonna try to ride to Prudhoe Bay. Oh are you? Okay. I live on the Kenai Peninsula, so wow. down what, down in Seward? Yep, go through uh go through the motor but it might be a fuel issue now. It says it's got the alternator light, ALT light on, but it's got enough. Do you have lights? Yeah, it wants to crank over. I don't want to hold you up too long. I think I might just, uh, I don't know how how much you're willing to help, but I might just uh, send you with a note, see if they can relay a message to my mom, and then she can uh, start heading this way for... Uh... I, yeah, I don't know what, I mean, I have uh, a limited supply of tools but well uh, i have plenty of tools i brought a big tote of tools but i i can tinker with some things but i'll have to uh have to mess with it but i don't know is there a ch how did it uh how did it die or did it you just, just turn oh it just just cut right out yeah i was in third gear and it started losing power yeah it just stopped and died so i'm it has enough amps to turn over so i'm guessing it's a fuel issue it's not you have enough gas though right oh yeah i filled it up it's like I don't know if this is the way to know if it's flooded or not. Yeah, I'll sit here and wait. I could wait another 20 minutes or something. That was it. That could be, you're right, that could be it too. You can smell it now. I how, won't hold you how, up. How far is Big Creek? It's probably six, seven miles back down there to the ranger oh, station okay. off on the left. All right, so that was, uh, that was interesting. So there, uh, we tried a couple different things with that, with that old pickup. Definitely uh, didn't work. So his distributor cap is uh, really loose, though, and it looks like it's missing a tab on the other side. So I don't know if it's catching what it's supposed to be underneath there. I'm guessing that's the distributor cap. He gave me some information. Try to make a phone call or give it to the ranger for them to make a phone call. Ranger Station. Early 1920s, the Forest Rangers headquarters initially was located. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I saw the copter take off. I guess they're fighting a fire somewhere out there. I saw uh, earlier, yeah, a bunch of helicopter complaints all over uh, Yellow Pine this morning. So is your story like mine? You couldn't find anybody crazy enough to do it with you, so you're doing it solo? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Pleasure meeting you. All right. See you along the way. If you're uh, if you're here when they come back, just tell them I couldn't get a hold of the ranger, and and because they said they'd go they'd go make sure those guys are okay. Oh, these people said they'd make sure Yeah. They're... Okay. All right. Thanks a lot.
hate just kind of passing the buck there, but I wrote a note and left it at the ranger station, letting them know their location and to at least call those two numbers. And the guy working on the chimney of the lodge said he would go out and check on them. So I'm feeling pretty confident that they're going to be tended to.